Okay guys, now that we've got the camera in and we've got it mounted to our canopy, the next thing we need to do is plug the camera into the flight controller. You're gonna see the plug right here and you're gonna have your wires right here. You just wanna make sure you line these up. Plug that in and as you can see, if you do this properly, the red wire will be on the left and the black wire will be on the right, okay? Just like that. Once you have that done, just kind of tuck that wire up inside a little bit and lay the canopy down over the frame just like this to where you've got, you can verify the wires out of the way of the holes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our next screw and we're gonna start with the right side and we're gonna put it through this opening right here, okay? And we're gonna make sure that it goes into the center hole of our rubber standoff, as you can see right here, okay? So just put that in there, just like that. And then just gently tighten it. You're not gonna tighten it too hard right now because we still have to get the other two screws in place. Just tighten it enough to where it'll hold it. Then grab the next screw, line up the canopy over the next standoff on the left side here. Put the screw in there. And again, gently tighten it just enough to hold it in place because we still have the back screw to do. And for this one, go ahead and drop the screw down that center area in the back. Make sure it's lined up properly as well. And go ahead and tighten it. I may need a smaller screwdriver for that one, so let me go ahead and get these parts put down first. There we go. And don't tighten it, don't crank it down. It is plastic, it can break. Just finger tighten it enough to where it feels like it's secure. And go ahead and let me get a smaller screwdriver right here. Tighten the back one. And there we go. As far as the build is now concerned, you have just completed your build, okay? Now normally, we would not put propellers on our drone. However, these are pretty tiny propellers, and I'm not too worried about these as far as uh, getting anybody, but we do wanna make sure that we have them lined up properly for you. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up your propellers the following way. If you'll look at these, you're gonna have two propellers that aim to where they're going clockwise, and two propellers that look like they're going counterclockwise. And the best way to look at that is the counterclockwise propellers will be, if you, if you line them up this way with one blade facing the top, the left side will be open and the right side will be closed. That is a counter, uh, uh, counterclockwise. That means it's gonna to turn to the left. The propellers where the top one is at the left side down and at the right side up, that is gonna to spin to the right or clockwise, okay? And unlike most drones, these small drones are gonna actually have their propellers on opposite. So on these drones here, we're gonna have our, our clockwise propellers going in position two and three. So you can go ahead now and take your propeller and gently, very gently, take the center of it over this little pole here that's sticking up out of the motor and just press it down, okay? Just like that, all right? And it may push your motor down fully, which is fine, that's expected, all right? Just make sure that you put the, this rubber ring back up to hold that wire in place. Take the second propeller that is clockwise, go to motor three, which is the back left motor, and again, press it down, and that propeller should stay on there. Now you've got two of them done. If you spin them with your finger, they should spin freely, showing that they're not uh, touching any plastic. Now we're gonna take our two counterclockwise motors, and we're gonna go ahead and put them in motor one and motor four. We'll start with motor four at the top left. Do the same thing, press it on there, press the motor down, or the propeller down into the motor and you're good. And then we're gonna do motor one, take the last counterclockwise uh, propeller, put it right over motor one, press it down, and there you go. And what you should see now is, all the propellers and all the motors should pretty much be the same height, and you'll notice that you've now pushed your motors down as far as they can go, which is expected, which is exactly what we wanna do. And we have our rubber rings here holding the motor wire in place. At this point, your drone is 100% built. All we're gonna do now is get ready to program it, and we'll be back in just a second with that.